dears, another Christmas. And I almost thought at one time in November that there would not be one this year. Well, every year the Tolkien children received a handwritten letter from Father Christmas. The letters were written in coloured inks and coloured pencils, in a very shaky, spidery hand. And this was to indicate Father Christmas's great age, he was over a thousand years old. But possibly also to disguise the handwriting of their father who was actually writing the letters. And what they contained was news from the North Pole, of the accidents and escapades that happened with Father Christmas's helpers and his chief helper, who was the North Polar Bear, who generally caused most of the accidents. And I think these escapades would have delighted the Tolkien children. There would be the 25th of December, of course, but nothing from your old great, 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 etc. grandfather at the North Pole. My pictures tell you part of the story, goblins. You can see some of the overlap from The Hobbit coming into the Father Christmas letters at the time he is writing it. And in it we hear of goblins attacking the North Pole and the red gnomes helping Father Christmas to fight them off and the gnomes are actually the elves. We're told in the letter that after several battles, not just one, um, that they're all driven out of the North Pole and that the red gnomes are there to, to help repackage and repair all the presents and everything sorted just in time for Christmas. <laughs> The worst attack we've had for centuries. They've been fearfully wild and angry ever since we took all their stolen toys off them last year and dosed them with green smoke.